Oh, you beautiful old pond, how I've missed you. And the dad. We got him out here today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, my lens is actually really dirty. Anyways, believe it or not, we are actually out fishing. And today we've got the old man, the father figure himself, who always comes out here and catches fish. And I don't, so I don't know why I brought him along. And then we got Chris, that guy over there, aka the Black Hammer. You may know him from Clash of Clans or something. But he's been in a couple videos. I think he's caught a fish or two on camera. Dad, you know, he catches a lot of fish and stuff, so it's a good thing we have them here. But we're at the old secret pond. We decided to bring Dad out. He hasn't been here before, but he's been seeing all the videos of us catching giant fish, and he's a little upset that we don't invite him out here, so he's out here now. And we're actually gonna be doing some bass fishing with this lure that I've been super excited to get, and it's been a while because the COVID deal kinda held up the delivery of it, but that deal would be the 10,000 fish Yoto worm, the little tickle tail. This thing, I saw some clips of it and I've been super excited to get it in my box. And if you guys wanna get yourself something like this every single month, go ahead and check out Mystery Tackle Box. I'll leave a link down below. Use that link, it helps me, supports them, and well, you'll get cool stuff like this that'll catch fish. Our main goal today is to catch some big old bass out of the old pond and hopefully be catching them on the Yoto worm because that's basically my goal, so. Oh, Dad's actually got one on the Yoda worm right now. And yeah, so basically it's gonna work. So I'm gonna throw the old strap, or <laughs> strap, I'm gonna throw the old GoPro on. All right, he lost the fish, Never mind. Throw the old GoPro on, throw the Yoda worm around, see if we can catch ourselves some fish. <laughs> All right, folks, we've got the old Yoda worm rigged up here. We actually have it on a Wu Tungsten shaky head. Like, I think it's a... Not sure what size it is, honestly, but we got it on the shaky head. Look at this. You can't tell me that that's not gonna catch a fish. Literally, this goes in the water, and look at the tail. That's literally nasty. So that's what we're gonna be throwing around. Let's see if we can catch ourselves some big ol' bass. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout out to you guys for all the new subscribers and all you who stuck along with me. I know I haven't uploaded for the last month, but I've been moving and working and stuff, so it's been pretty chaotic and busy, so. I'm glad you guys stuck around. So huge shout out to all of you. It's also extremely hot out today. Literally like 90 some. I'm sweating so bad and really hoping we actually catch a fish on our first fishing video back. And you guys have seen, or most of you probably have seen the fishing in this pond. It's pretty solid so I wouldn't be surprised if we caught some absolute tankers today. Especially with three of us out here. Chris actually already caught like a 16, 17 inch bass. It's probably about two pounds, so he's off to a hot start. Got one? Oh! You see that? I did. That's a good one. Yeah, what are you doing? You gotta keep him from jumping out of the water. <laughs> you get him in yet or what? All right, let's go take a look, see what dad's catching. I'm the only one not catching anything ever. Oh, that's a pretty nice bass you got there. This is why we bring him along, because he actually catches fish. <laughs> Dang, that's nice. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I don't want to hear it down below. I don't want to hear any comments about this. But yes, we are keeping these bass. Your Asian boy here, he's got family coming down, and they're all Asian, and all Asians eat is fish. So, we're keeping some for the family. Don't worry. There's plenty of big ones in here, and if anything, keeping these smaller ones is going to help the bigger ones get twice as big and be absolute state record giants. So... Don't want to hear anything down in the comments. Well, folks, once again, if you guys have seen it before, you already know. But those of you who haven't, literally anybody I take fishing, they catch more fish than me. It's like I'm good luck for them, but they're bad luck for me. It's like Chris has already caught two and Dad's caught one, and I've yet to even set the hook on anything. But we're going to keep grinding, catch some fish for you guys. I know you guys want to see me catch some fish. I know it's something you don't see too often, but we're going to grind it out and catch some fish on the old Yoto worm or whatever this thing's called. I don't remember now. All I can think about is trying to catch a fish. What the heck? You got another one? There we go. I got one. Oh, that's a good one. Heck yeah. It's doubled up. Hopefully I can get him in. Feels pretty good. On the old Yoda worm. Hee hee! Let's go, first fish in... Oh, not first fish, literally. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an absolute tanker. 
Baby, what did you catch? Like a one pounder? Look at that. Look at all the grass in his face. Oh yeah. Look at that. He engulfed the old Yoda worm. He wanted it bad. Literally, I was just dropping through the water. Heck yeah. On the old Yoda worm. It's probably a pounder, pound and a half maybe. But we're gonna go measure him, see if he keeps, and we'll get back to fishing. Alrighty, folks. Well, he fell in the slot limit, so we had to throw him back. That's measuring about 14, but caught him on the old Yoda worm. And literally, this thing drops to the bottom. Look at that. Literally, it's holding it up still. That's what it's doing in the water. That tail just flickers around, and man, you can't tell me there's another lure that looks just as good as this one. Let's go back to our little spot over here in the old tall, tall grass. Probably gonna have about 600,000 ticks on me at the end of this. But let's see if we can catch ourselves a bigger fish, maybe a keeper, maybe an absolute tank of a trophy bass. We'll see what happens. I'm literally throwing it right here on the edge of these lily pads. Assuming that the sense is so hot out, these bass are gonna be hiding under something that has shade, staying nice and cool. Something like I should be doing, I should be in my house, staying nice and cool, but gotta get on film, get ahead. Stop being so lazy, I guess. So we're gonna throw this around, let it drop to the bottom around these cattails, or throw them in the cattails, I guess. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. Oh God, snatched it right up. Oh man, he snatched it right up from me there. Oh, he's got me in the lily pads. I don't even know if I'll get him out. Oh God. Oh, he might be pretty good too. Hard to tell, I got 18 pounds of moss on here. Oh, get up here, buddy. Oh, God. Good Lord. The amount of moss and stuff you pull up with these fish is insane. Look at this. Is that normal? Tell me if this is normal to have that much grass on there. Literally more weight in the grass than there is in the fish. And the hook literally popped right out. But not a bad one. Probably another pound, pound and a half. These fish are so fat, eating so good in here. I don't think that's gonna keep. That's definitely gonna fall into the slot. So we're gonna throw him back. Oh gosh, I'll deal with that pole later. Let's get him back in the water and then get the grass off our deal. Yeah, he falls in the slot. Deuces, amigo. That's kind of cool, he's doing tricks right there. Oh yeah. Now let's get, oh my God, what kind of tangled mess do we have here? Now we gotta sit here and pull off literally 20 pounds of grass off of our bait here. So I'll be doing this and then I'll edit it out and be back to fishing, I guess. But the Yoda worm strikes again. Let me tell you what though, folks, this lure, I'm not doing this cause I'm, I'm like, I'm not just blowing smoke up you guys' butt or anything. Literally, this lure is so good. Like it stays intact. It's like literally high quality made and like two decent sized fish ate this thing up and literally nothing broken off of it literally just throwing it back out there again probably can catch 50 fish on this thing so if you guys want to check this out check out mystery tackle box and check out carl's bait and tackle there we go just a little guy though oh yeah about 10 inches probably yeah yeah Oh no, these bass, they literally fight like 10 pounders, all of them. And this thing's literally the size of my shaft on my fishing pole. Yeah, I got you guys. You thought I was going to say something different. Bye bye. Okay, well, I'm going to try something different. Throw this thing on as a trailer on a different setup. Show you guys that this thing is literally super versatile. So, I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so as far as you guys have seen, the shaky head with this, what's it called? Yoda worm, the irresistible tickle tail, which obviously it's proving that it's definitely irresistible. To show you guys how versatile this bait is, even though this is the first time I've ever fished it, we're gonna throw it on probably a chatterbait or an underspin, something different than the uh, shaky head, maybe Texas rig it up, and just show you guys that there's literally multiple ways to set this up to where you can literally catch fish. And actually on the back, it literally tells you different ways to rig it up and catch these fish. So I'm gonna go ahead, tie it on. It's extremely hot, maybe crack a root beer. because I'm literally addicted to root beer. And let's see if we can catch some more fish with it. Oh yeah. 
I'm actually going to rig this up on my other spinning rod because I already have an underspin put on here. And it's actually got another 10,000 baits, or 10,000 fish, sorry, uh, lure on here. And that's the Shimmer Swimmer, I believe is what this is called. But I'm actually going to take this off for now. Maybe throw it again later on the day. Or tie on one of these Yoda worms. Oh yeah, look at there. I bet that it will have such a nice presentation. Literally the tail flicking around like that and then the underspin. Throw it around all over the top of the grass and stuff. And, well, let's see if we can go catch some fish. Oh my god. Well, never mind. <laughs> Litter just flew completely off. My leader literally completely snapped off. What the heck? Never mind. Well, I guess we're going to tie it on a different way. Okay, well, after a miserable fail, um, the underspin completely flew off, broke the leader off for some reason. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. But we put it on a black and blue chatter bait, and we're throwing a little mismatch color, a little green pumpkin and blue action here. Something a little different. Maybe it'll be appealing to their eye a little more, because for some reason I don't have a green pumpkin chatter bait with me. But that's what we're throwing it around. I bet that does the work. Chatter baits, as you guys know, really good for grass. So we'll throw it around, rip it around, so you can catch some fish. There we go. That one. Oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Chatterbait. Oh yeah, that's a big chungus there, folks. Heck yeah, look at all that grass. Oh, let's just rip that off there real quick. Oh yeah, that's a chunker for sure. Oh, fat boy. Heck yeah. On the old chatterdonk with the old trickle worm or tickle worm, yodel worm, whatever you want to call this thing. Anyway, I knew they couldn't resist it. Nice old bass. I guess we'll keep him. Well, I don't know. That might fall into a slot too, don't you think? All right, well, he'll be a keeper according to Chris. So. We'll go measure just in case and throw in the cooler and get back over here. Catch a couple more on the chatterbait. Show you guys that this thing's a real deal. And then maybe switch up our tactic. We'll see because it's extremely hot. The fishing's actually kind of tough right now, but we'll see what we can do. Well, folks, it has been about an hour without catching a fish now. The sun is making the outdoors about 600,000 degrees and we're burning up real hot. I don't think very much is going to come out here right now. It's literally the middle of the day. Not really the best time to go out and fish. But we did catch some fish today, so at least that's good. Yeah, we're going to call it a day, I think. Maybe go catfishing later tonight. See if we can catch anything in our city pond. Um, if you guys are interested in catching some big old fish with the old Yoda worm, go ahead and check out Mystery Tackle Box. It'll look like this right here. You'll get one of these every single month. This is the Pro Box, and you can get like a basic box, a Pro Box, an Elite Box. Literally so many options, and they send you beautiful lures every single day. Here's something I got out of my box this month. We got ourselves a Guggen Squad Filthy Frog, so that's super sick. You get crankbaits, all the good stuff. They send you soft plastics, they'll send you stickers, and they'll even send you a paper to tell you how to fish all this stuff where to fish it, all the fun stuff, and you literally learn so much more about fishing. Like, a lot of the stuff that I know now, I wouldn't have known if I didn't hook up with Mystery Tackle Box. So, shout out to them. Guys, check them out. Link down in the description if you guys are interested. The Yoda Worm today, like I said, did some work. We caught, I don't know, five or six fish with it. Dad missed one, literally in like the first three casts when I was filming an intro. But yeah, we're gonna call it a day, and hope you guys enjoyed. But if you guys did enjoy today's right. video, go ahead, leave a like. What? Oh, so I guess Chris just caught one just now. But if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for checking it out, staying with me. I appreciate all you guys supporting me lately. I've been getting subs every single day, and we literally haven't uploaded in like a month. So we're going to be uploading two to three times a week. I'm literally going to be filming for the next two weeks, probably try to get ahead. And yeah, you guys expect a bunch of good videos to come out. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Bad Bass Fishing. And folks, like always, stay hooked.